we are in middle tennessee today in murfreesboro and we're here because of this the african serval chris why don't you tell us a little bit about the african serval so african servals are as the name tells you from africa um, obviously these are small little kittens but these guys are going to get big um, your females 20 to 30 maybe 35 pounds and your males can push upwards of 50 pounds um, they're a very tall cat for their size. They're the tallest cat in the world compared to their, their, their length of their legs compared to the rest of their body. I know. What? And so these little kittens right now will take a couple years to get full grown. And in the wild, these guys eat just about anything, mainly in tall grasses where they can hide. And they also got that tall grass to, to hide them when they're stalking their prey. Um, interesting fact about these guys is they're the most successful. Uh, <laughs> they're the most successful out of all the cats, all the wild cats, as far as how often they catch their prey. So 50% of what they go after, they get, which is a greater catch rate than any other wild cat. And so these guys in the wild are eating everything from. Ooh, they got the balls. Oh. There's some serious claw work right there. They're eating yeah. everything from insects um, to birds, lizards, snakes, um, anything that they can catch. Um, here in captivity, um, they're getting a mostly red meat diet um, with supplements. There's some prepared foods you can give them. Uh, they get a lot of chicken with the bone in. Um, they can be fed rodents. And so just a, a good varied diet. The important thing to remember is, as you can see even with these kittens falling Mike over here, they're, they are wild animals. They're very active um, animals. So yeah. these aren't necessarily something that you're going to buy and it's going to act like a house no, cat. It is not. So if you decide you want to get one of these animals, the first thing you're going to have to make sure is that you have a very large enclosure for it, as big as you could possibly get them. Um, they're, they're adapt diggers, so you want to make sure that if you use a fencing system, it's got to go down at least two to three feet into the ground. If not, you want to have a concrete pad at the bottom with still some area to where they can have some grass or dirt. Uh, to play in, you want full fencing on the across the top. They're adapt climbers. Um, so your first thing to do is make sure that you have the enclosure that's suitable for this animal. In the wild, they're gonna eat, like Chris said, rodents, birds, small reptiles. But in captivity, cat food. Um, and, and there's specialty diets prepared just for this type of cat. Is it challenging? Yes, versus a typical house cat, but it's not impossible. But you really, really just need to do a lot of research on it. In captivity, these guys can live upwards of 20 years. Make sure you research. These can be great animals to work with for the people who just really have a love for them, like Ron, and choose to go with it. Uh, but make sure that you know what you're getting into uh, before you pull that trigger and, and go out and buy one of these animals.